Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And welcome back from break, honey. I'm so glad to be back. I missed potting. I missed potting, too. The break for me went by fast. Oh. I don't feel like we had any time off. For real. But we are filming a little earlier than... Than the month, but still, yeah. yeah. And uh, Brett's is here today, and Maggie's here today. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Feeling doing good. good, nice and good, and refreshed after the break. Yeah, good little nose burn. You know what? Kept it. From the sun. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like cocaine or something. I was like, whoa. It's crazy. We went from like the most <clears throat> beautiful weather mm -hmm. in the Bahamas back to Nashville, and mm -hmm. then it decided to snow like seven inches in one day. Oh, yeah, as soon as we got back, snowstorm. And I'm surprised you guys made it here this morning. In we my, almost yeah. didn't even get to film this pod. The weather's so bad. Greg had to go pick Maggie up. She couldn't get out of her driveway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, And it never snows in Nashville. Mm. I didn't know that everything just shut down here. Mm -hmm. Because in Utah, when it snows, everybody just still goes yeah. about their day. Here, they don't have a snow plow system, so you're just pretty much fucked. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> snow like this. This is, like, pretty bad. So... Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, I do yeah. too. And yeah. you know what? We we are still here filming. Mm -hmm. Fuck the snow. We yeah. have a fucking podcast to film. We're taking over the world. Oh, yeah, but we can't swear. We need Why? our time our first 10 minutes. Oh, I already said cocaine. We can't. Uh, we're going to get demonetized saying the F oh. word. Oh, well. Next time. We're looking for a timer that's like silent so you guys don't hear it clicking the whole time. And then it will go off after the 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, Maybe I should keep track of that, you know, in the 10 minutes. That just, would be great, Brad, if you could do that. Next time. I'll just do it next time. Yeah, put that on your list. Okay. Okay. And then when the 10 minutes is up next time, just say, hey, guys, 10 minutes is up. All right. And that's and, when I can maybe start talking. And we'll all just scream the F word and we'll yeah. just all just go nuts after 10 minutes. Imagine not swearing for 10 minutes of talking. I don't know if I could. Golly, it's going to be hard. But you guys, we just got back from the Bahamas. We had a blast. We went to Exuma. Um, there was uh, no uh, drive throughs <clears throat> hardly any restaurants. Very underdeveloped island. Yeah. Foreclosed, mm -hmm. seemed like. Someone had been there. There were a lot of houses. Brett, right I thought you said you were just going to hey, listen. Brett, to oh, yeah. Mine. It's well, your dad. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. yeah. You know Didn't what? He? Thanks, Maggie. Yeah. R right, right before the podcast, Brett goes, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to listen to this pod. We go, oh, really? He goes, yeah, I just want to sit back and listen to you guys. We're I like, forgot. We're like, okay, we'll see how that goes. Listen to him now. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I appreciate it. Okay. Can't yeah. stop, man. <laughs> Um, we saw some pigs. We saw some iguanas. We saw Tim McGraw's island. We did. We saw David Copperfield. He owns a couple islands at the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Oprah and Bill Gates go visit there. Mm -hmm. $60,000 a night to mm. rent this island. Very interesting. Yeah. With that type um, of money. It comes with its own restaurant. It comes with two five-star restaurants on the island and 11 houses. Damn. Whoa. Isn't that wild? Yeah, what are they doing there? Who? It just, that kind of money, I can't even wrap my head around that. Can't even wrap my clit around it. Right. Your clit's not long enough. I'm going to stretch it. Right. <laughs> so I can get that island money. I wonder who would have the longest clit if we stretched it out. Just fucking yanked on it. Jasmine used to do that, like, back in the day. She'd be like, look at this, and she'd stretch something out, clit. and I'd go, what the fuck? She was yanking her clit. I don't know what it was. Which, Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Yankee Doodle went to town. Which, by the way, a long time ago, we have discussed, we discussed on this podcast that we would all post pictures of, take pictures of our clits and post it to our um, OF and, and Patreon. And I forgot about it. And someone reminded me the other day. They go, hey, where's, the, where's those pics at? <gasps> Holding you to it. So we need to get on that. And speaking of subscribers... We were still uh, posting slits only Great during the break. 
Um, so thank you guys for uh, supporting us on my Patreon and pages OF. We were still posting viral podcasts throughout the break. Mm-hmm. And um, we do that every Friday. You get an extra little viral podcast every Friday on Slits Only for our subscribers. So, so be sure and be on there and be sure to eat my ass. And be sure to go to my OF because I just did a coffee enema. Got that up on there. So if you want to hear some little... If you want to hear coffee come out of my asshole. I will say... I watched part of your uh, coffee enema vlog, and it was h- hilarious, but absolutely disgusting. Chelsea so, couldn't get through it all the way. <coughs> She's like, "Oh no, stop it!" Oh. So it's it's a good vlog. It's a good vlog. Go to her OF and watch that. I also just posted a um, the vlog of us in the Bahamas. I wanted to post that to YouTube uh, for everyone, but there's too many tits. So I did put it on Patreon, but I made it public for everyone. So you don't have to be subscribed to watch it. You don't have to have, even have a Patreon account. Um, click on my Patreon. The link is in my Instagram bio. It's free. Go watch it, especially if you want to see our tits. Basically, lots of fucking clicking. Lots of clicking, lots of content. You know, we had the last month off, but we really haven't. We've been putting out the content and, and just eating each other's asses. We've been busy. Yeah, a couple more clicks you can do. Go click on Maggie's profile because today is her <gasps> motherfucking birthday. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maggie, happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you today? 35. <gasps> wow. What's your birthday wish? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say this. We we honestly did have plans to have get you a cake and and decorate the studio and stuff, but like we said, it was snowing. Everything's closed, and we couldn't get anything if we wanted. Yeah, yeah. I got. Fine. I <laughs> did stop at the gas station though. I got you one thing. Oh god! Oh, what, what is it? <laughs> I'm nervous. Right. You, you just gotta catch it. A cinnamon roll. Ooh. Concha sweet roll. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Concha blessings, bitch. Hey, Concha blessings. <laughs> Concha birthdays. Thank you. The one thing at the Bahamas we could not stop saying Concha. Concha eat this ass. Concha blessings. Concha last days. Mm-hmm. Anything conch. Yeah. And you don't even say conch. It's conch, right? Right. Conch. Why, why spell it like that? Just that's how people do things. Conch is spell it different. Just Sorry. Just you know I what's got funny? Maggie something, though. <gasps> Oh Brett. my god! <laughs> Brett is self-promoting his merch. Oh my! Open it gosh. up, Maggie. Every yeah, opportunity, open it up. dude. I'm dead. Yeah. And I asked for one of these like mm-hmm. what two months ago. We told Brett to get us all a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Open it up for everybody. Hey. Yay! All right. Let's go. Yes. I'm gonna wear this on the next episode. Yep. Thank you. On the next. When I got the timer. Brett's got great merch. The ten minute timer. Thank you. Um, I will say this. Uh. The other night I was cooking, um, I made some pickled red onions um, on my Instagram story. And it was like, I was, everybody was asleep. Greg was asleep. Beth was asleep. It was midnight. It was like 1230. And I was uh, watching Netflix or something. And I go, I'm going to go make pickled red onions. Yeah, I saw that. At like midnight. So I I put it on my uh, Instagram. And I wrote, (laughs) I wrote, making pickled red onions at midnight. And then the next day, dead ass serious, this lady goes, uh, why at midnight? And I go, because that's what time it was. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What do you mean? I, I go, that was the time? <laughs> yeah. She's so. probably just, you know, that is kind of late to start that. But, it is. But time's crunched. You, you know, know, and, and we time, don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. You <laughs> yeah. know, you got to get things done when you get things done, mm-hmm. when you got time for it. Yeah, concha time. You know, concha time, concha <laughs> blessings. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm. Damn, 35 though. What's your favorite cake? What's been your favorite <coughs> birthday? Uh, my favorite birthday? Probably whenever we went to New Orleans. Yeah. We had a good time. And we were supposed to go to San Francisco this year for your birthday because you've never been to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And I keep telling you how amazing it is. We didn't have time and we spent so much money vacationing in the Bahamas. I was like, yeah. I go, Let, let's do it next year. Even I was like, that's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. Concha dollars. We're busy. Concha dollars. <laughs> Concha dollars. <laughs> Concha <laughs> savings. Yeah. Be conscious. Be conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Beth laugh back there is making I, me spit out of my fucking nose. I dude. love hearing Beth laugh back there. I know. 
Um, so we're gonna do that next year for your birthday. We will go to San Francisco. Yeah. I okay. promise. Maybe I promise. you guys could go find all those homeless people that disappeared. What, what are you talking about? Yeah. Whoa! What the? <laughs> hold on! What? What, <laughs> what a Debbie Downer! <laughs> that was the most Debbie Downer line I've ever heard in my life. What are you talking about? No, it was about? A good for the positive. You know, you're gonna find them. What happened? They just like, uh, I guess all of the homeless people just disappeared overnight. There's like no video footage, and people are on what? the TikTok going, "Where are they at?" Though I haven't heard of that, but I guarantee you, like people, like cities will bus up. Homeless people and move them to another city. Uh huh. I've seen them do it that, here. Yes, that happens. Bus up, like where are they going? They just go and take down like their camps because they they or, don't want them in their city. So they'll literally say, "Hey, we're we're going here." I've heard of that. That yeah. happens regularly. I guess some very important person was like visiting San Francisco. I think from Asia, oh. and so they just. Oh, they bust down thought to you on it. Damn. Got them all out. I haven't even heard of that. Yeah. Well, when we go, I'll just keep an eye out. Because some people, you know, make friends with homeless people. If you're passing by them every day, talking yeah. to them, yeah. they're like, where the hell are they? They're just Where's Bill? Yeah, no Where fucking Bill word. Go? Yeah. Dang. Damn, dude. Yeah. So, but I love San Francisco. I and there's a neighborhood in San Francisco, Hyatt Ashbury. It's like back in the 60s that was like the rock and roll like Janis Joplin lived there etc and it is legal right now today to be nude in that neighborhood you what? you no no underwear no nothing completely head to toe naked you can walk down the street you can go into stores Whoa. completely Whoa. and I want to do that so bad have you been no well I've driven through there and I didn't see anybody naked but apparently they say it's a bunch of just old dudes walking around with their balls out, which is fine. Oh, when we go, we got to do it. Will you, will you do it? Yeah. What if we're like the only ones? What if the cops come and arrest us? They won't. What? No, but it's we, legal. But we don't know that. It's legal, though. They won't because I shot a uh, calendar shot a couple years ago. We were in Fort Worth. And we needed an outside shot. And Jessica, who shoots my calendar... She was like, it's legal to be topless in Texas. I was like, what? We were in a public park, and I was walking around with no shirt on. Oh, my gosh. And I was just swinging. <clears throat> we're just now finding this out all these years later. <laughs> I felt like I was going to be arrested. I was like, I'm scared. She goes, no, like, it's real. And I looked it up, Google. <clears throat> it is, le- well, at least a couple years ago it was, yeah. what I saw on Google, <clears throat> legal in the state of Texas to be topless in public. Whoa. Even a woman, like. Yeah. Not so you could San go Diego. to the bar. Well, not maybe an establishment. Maybe there's just like certain like cities. Maybe. Let me look it up. Because we needed like, I, I don't know why we needed to film it, to shoot at this park. Okay. Technically, women can go topless in Texas. Texas is one of 36 top freedom in effect states. This, however, does not mean that there are no repercussions for women going topless in Texas as they can be arrested for disorderly conduct. Uh, disorderly conduct. Um, I'm going can go topless in Texas. So, hmm. apparently, yeah. Hmm. That would and, be cool. And I was, ter- I was like, there was no, there wasn't a lot of people, but I was like, are you sure? Like, we got the shot really quick and then we left, but I was in Fort Worth at a, at a at a park, just walking around with my tits hanging. Have hmm. you ever been to a ocean in Texas? I'm sorry, what? Have yeah, you like ever... Galveston or something. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ma'am, <laughs> I, I was, yeah, was going to say there are no oceans in Texas. <laughs> I know what that, you were thinking, but there is. <laughs> but there is. That was me yesterday because, like, I was listening to something and I was like, "What the fuck? There's an ocean in Texas." <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if Chelsea's ever been. I gotta ask her. You just her. pulled a me. Maggie, I just pulled a you, <laughs> yeah, you so did. hard. That's something you would do. I know. That's what I pulled a Maggie yesterday. I was so confused. Like, what the hell? As soon as you said that, I thought, <laughs> there ain't no Odin did it. You're stupid. I'm dead. Um, no, I've never been to Galveston. I've never been to Corpus Christi. I've never been. Corpus Christi in Galveston? <laughs> oh, ma'am, these are some weird ass names. Galveston, Ma- ma'am. Galveston, yeah. yeah. And what? Corpus Gipsy? Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. That's where everybody would go from, like our hometown. Which I've always wanted to go down there, but um, I've been to Galveston. Cor- nice. Corpus Christi, home. What, Beth? South Padre. South Padre. Corpus Christi, home of the first Whataburger. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I want to visit. Damn. Um. 
Yeah, I've never been down there. I've never been south of Houston, I don't think. It reminded me of lake water. Like, the oh, water yeah. wasn't pretty no, by no means. It's not like crystal clear blue. It's 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 the gulf. Yeah. yeah. But no, I've never been. No conch sand? No conch sand. Mm-mm. I can't believe that the sand, the reason why it's all white at, in the Bahamas is because the conch. Or the conch. The shells, yeah. The yeah, conch. They like Thousand- erode or like turn into sand. Mm-hmm. Thousands and millions of years of, of that created that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were saying we need to bring some of these shells to San Diego because Maggie was like, yeah, Maggie, or the sand in San Diego is like gravel. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> big and like hard. It hurts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, this is like powdery. Yeah. I know. It was so nice. It was beautiful. It felt fake. Yeah, yeah. It felt like <sighs> kinetic sand. Yeah. The toy sand. It did. In between your toes. Yeah. I masturbated so much on vacation. Did For real? You? Yeah. You were in your room quite often. Yeah, she was. She'd come out, eat some Hot Pockets. <laughs> Go back in there. Yeah, leave your plate out. That's what she was doing. Oh, if I was in my room, I was masturbating. There's no doubt. I wasn't doing anything else. No, I, was, I read a little bit. Mm-hmm. I read. And itched. <laughs> and itched. I got sand fleas. They got me. But I'm 100% better now. And Yeah. I didn't I'm, know sand fleas were so prevalent. I didn't know either. And appara- I thought it may have been just a Bahamas thing, but everyone online's like, oh, no, I got them while I was in Hawaii. I got them while I was in oh. here. I had never heard of them my whole life. Same. Ever. <laughs> it's a thing, I guess. Just Dang. Went, I don't know. Yeah. Huh. You got toe up, though. Like, oh, my ass got toe up. Like, I've never seen. Beth said that you looked like Braille. Yeah. <laughs> You whelps. What? Oh. Whelp. Yeah. There wasn't a spot on my leg that didn't have a whelp on Mm-mm. it. <clears throat> Are yeah. you saying whelp? Whelp. Yeah. What am I supposed to say? Fuck, I've never heard of a whelp. Uh, wasn't it a welt? Whelp. 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 Huh? I think they're whelps. Whelp. I don't know what to With fucking tell you. I, I think, think it's... Isn't it a whelp? No. Uh, I think Brett's right. What'd actually? you say, Brett? Welt. Welt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a, a that got me lightheaded. It's a welt. Yeah. It's a welt. We've just always said welp. Because <laughs> we're <laughs> idiots. <laughs> I'm done. That's funny. I well, thought, it's uh, a red swollen mark left on flesh by a blow or a pressure. Yeah, I thought it was a welp. <laughs> Look up welp. I thought welp was just yeah. like welp. That's, well. <laughs> that's what that is. It's a made up word. Oh, man. That's funny. Hey, can we... Oh, (laughs) hey, uh, by the way, we have some segments here and some calls, and we have some ass eating to do. (laughs) But, hey, before we do that, um, I have not announced on the pod yet, but if you obviously follow me on social media, you know, we just announced some tour dates. We're going back out. Um, I am... Well, let me just announce the tour dates first. Tour. Phoenix, Arizona. Roswell, New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico. These will be my first shows in New Mexico, baby. Oh. Ontario, California, Irvine, California, Oxnard, California, Brea, California, Bloomington, Illinois, Marion, Illinois, Nashville, Tennessee. I'll be at that one. Yeah, you'll be at that one. <laughs> yeah, same. Huntsville, Alabama, Cary, North Carolina, and then Tammy's Pontoon Party, um, March 22nd to the 25th. Tour starts in like what two three weeks we i mean it's like three weeks so um phoenix and roswell y'all are up first get your tickets at eatmytrash.com this will be the last time to see this material um because i'm hopefully it's not finalized but um hopefully i'm going to film a special on the cruise if i don't i will be filming a special somewhere in that time frame um so i'm going to use these shows to work on material um that's what I've been doing the past year, year and a half. Um, will the material be the exact same from previous shows? It'll be close. I'm working on material, so what that means is I sometimes replace jokes, take jokes out, switch stuff up. So I'm just working on it until it's perfect for to be filmed. So if you haven't seen this material, come see me because once it's done, it's done, baby. Yep, get your tickets or get got. Get your tickets or get got, baby. I wish your website was eatmyass.com. I know, but that's a whole nother thing. That's a, that's, you sh- if you have a website called eatmyass.com, there should be ass eating on there. Yeah, you don't want to fake people out. Don't, don't, I would be so mad if I was like, you know what, I want to watch some ass eating. And I go to eatmyass.com and it's just some 
chick selling t-shirts and posting tour dates. Well, yeah. I'd be mad as hell. Well, maybe there could be like a submission slip for them to eat your ass. Mm. That'd be great. You just get put on a waiting list like a Tesla truck. <laughs> yeah. To eat my ass. You're three years out from eating Chelsea's ass. <laughs> You're three years <laughs> out. Stop it. Um, so, uh, you got a DM or anything? I've got a wonderful DM. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, I'll tell you. What's the DM for the day, honey? This DM, honestly, made me scream out loud. Oh, boy. I love <laughs> The DMs. <laughs> and this guy's dead serious. He started messaging me in April of 2022. So the, the very first one was April 2022. And the most recent goes up to yesterday. Whoa. And it comes from Facebook. All these motherfuckers are on Facebook. Um, his name is Alex. And he looks kind of like a maybe a man in his late 50s, I would say, early 60s. Um, and... Uh, his very first message was, <clears throat> and by the way, this was eight eight twenty one a.m. So this motherfucker woke up. And, oh, and, thinking about you. Yeah. Do you like to fuck? I'm Native American. <laughs> Stop already. It gets better. And obviously, I didn't respond to that. I didn't see it. And then he follows up with with, is white pussy any good? <laughs> Like he don't know. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he says, would you fuck a Native American guy? And how much would you charge? Discount, because you already stole my land. Oh, my. P.A., wash that pussy and shave. <laughs> when he said... <laughs> discount because you already stole my land i screamed i thought he was gonna follow up with maybe like a lol or yeah. I'm fuck. he's dead ass serious well, he wants a discount he wants a discount Didn't, don't they already get like a lot of money well they don't get pussy a pussy discount i don't think that's true you know that that's different <laughs> that you know is what i mean true. but the fact that he said and how much would you charge? Like it's even an option. I, yeah. Maggie. Maybe you should say how Native American are you? Like how much do you have? <laughs> What's you? the and percentage? Then, yeah, then we can go from there. We can talk about discounts there. Yeah. And then he uh, follows up yesterday with nice fat ass, which my ass is horribly flat. No, it's not. It's got some, it's got some flop. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. So anyway, that that is uh, my DM from Alex, which honestly I thought, I thought was hilarious. He loves his culture. He loves discounts and he loves tits and ass. Yeah. And he seems like a cool dude, you know, honestly. So there's that. So how much of a discount would you give him if he's like half Native American? <laughs> half off? I'd probably get, you know what? You got one little drop of Native American. I'm giving you a discount. It don't matter. You're getting a discount. If I charge for sex. Now we're speaking hypothetically here. What's your starting rate? If I was to charge for sex, mm -hmm. I'm so horny. I'd probably just give give me twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me a ten. You know, so Venmo good. me five bucks. Buy me a coffee. Probably just whatever you got. Yeah, it don't matter. Just whatever you got. Got a couple quarters in your in your <laughs> cup holder. That's <laughs> slip those in my pussy too. That's good. Just yeah. Let me just rummage through your uh through your center console. Center console, and we'll we'll call it even. <laughs> It keeps getting lower and lower and lower and lower. <laughs> Let me rummage through your center console. No, oh, there's nothing worse than getting coins out of the cup holder. Ugh, they're all sticky Get with all cum. Got that? Yeah, everyone's just coming in the cup holders. I hate that. What's yours, honey? You got a DM? Yeah, this guy says, "Where are the farts? We need farts. We want farts." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. People love it. When you especially, but when all of us fart. It's so weird. They love it when you fart. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like when you go live somewhere, someone's like, hey, when are you going to fart? Always in the comment. <laughs> There's always one guy. Yeah. There's always a... And it's always guys. <laughs> I will rarely... And, and I do get women who are like, oh, the farts are funny. But the, women aren't asking for the farts. Men Some. are DMing you and demanding where are the farts. We need farts. We need farts. Well, where are we they, Paige? We want farts. Where Where's are they? The fart? They're 
everywhere. They're I just posted my ten hour compilation of farts. Oh yeah. But they were like, Where are the sped where are the normal ones? Now they want a whole other compilation with just normal speed farts. Oh, you sped up your farts? No, I slowed them down for the sleep. Oh. For mm. the ten hours of fart quincies. You- but now they want just the normal farts. See, I would want normal, I feel like. I don't want them slowed down. For sleeping, though? Yeah, I think so. They sound like long snores. Mm. Maybe that's why they don't they don't sound like farts. I think they just want farts. Right. <laughs> well, all those normal farts are posted. Can I just say, Maggie has been really popping off on my Snapchat for, um, mm-hmm. for um, uh, crank farts. Farting. Farting. Maggie has been really farting, going off hard on my Snapchat. Because what she'll do is she'll go, she'll just be like, "Hey, I got a fart, I got a fart," and we know what that means. Grab mm-hmm. your phones, open up your Snapchat app. Yep. Yeah, get it ready. And Maggie's farts, deepest things I've ever heard. I farted all the, the whole week in the Bahamas. It oh, was yeah. unreal, and I think it was because the food we were eating, the conks, I and the conch a shells. lot last night. Deep ones like Maggie, because mm-hmm. I ate um. A whole pack of frozen burritos yesterday. Oh, that'll get you. And I had the deep rumbles like you. The deep, deep. rumbles. Yeah, I think it maybe is the filtered water we were using for the coffee. Because I've been having the same shits as Maggie. The pasty, foamy. Yeah. <laughs> like, God, what the <laughs> fuck? Brett last Why night. Brett knows how my shits are. <laughs> He's like, what water was Maggie using <laughs> no, in the coffee? I, like that, I have the same shits as her. But you got to follow me on Snapchat because Maggie will really, and Maggie moves her body when she farts. It, it's not a regular fart. She really pumps them out. It's yeah. Like squeeze. You, it's almost like you have to bounce yeah. and jiggle them out and, and take and lift and spread your butt cheeks a little bit. She bounces her farts out. Listen, here's the deal. We, we're all farting on social media, so just follow us. Yeah. People are like, I hate farts. I oh. do have one person who or every time I fart will... Message me and say no more farts. Yeah. <laughs> I, a whole list probably of like a hundred or more. No more farts. That's all he says. No more farts. <laughs> That's <Wow>. funny. <clears throat> hey, um, should we do? We did DM. Ooh, we got a couple segments. Let's do one more segment and then some calls and then we have some more segments. Which one do you want to do? We have some. Uh, we want to do two. Two truths, one lie. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's do two it. Two truths, one lie. And here's the deal. This is our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we can do whatever we want. Even if we just don't want to talk for like the next 20 minutes. We'll just sit here. <laughs> okay, two truths, one lie. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to get you on this. Oh, probably, honestly. Are you ready? Uh-huh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <sighs> two truths, one lie. Two are true. One's a lie. Paige, which one is the lie? I've seen Britney Spears in concert. I hate blackberries. And I once puked on a plane. Which one is the lie? Damn, man. You want me to repeat them? You've seen Britney Spears in concert. You hate blackberries or something. You're not talking about the cell phone. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. Um, and what was the last thing? And I once puked on a plane. Oh, yeah. <coughs> puked on a plane. That one sounds interesting. That one turned into it. <laughs> Ooh, do you know Maggie? I know. Don't look I'm at not, it. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. Gosh, dude. Have you seen Britney Spears in concert? Well, I... <coughs> Why do I feel like you have? Has she, Maggie? <laughs> I can't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> Don't you know that you're toxic? Um, fuck, man. I might. I really don't know this one. I think I got you. Yeah. If I didn't get you, it's. If you get it right, it'll be a guess. I, I just thought those were good. Usually, I'm bad at coming up with that. I, I think I did good today. Which one's the lie, bitch? Has Has she puked on a fucking plane? Don't ask her. Think about how many flights I've been on, though. I can't. A thousand. A thousand. Okay, well, I just don't even know. I'm just going to say that you've never puked on a plane. Correct. Oh, yeah. Oh, suck my ass, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, I, but that was a good guess. Um, I do hate blackberries. I hate... It's a texture thing for me. It's the, it's the hard little seeds. Mm-hmm. Um, but you like chia seeds, right? Yeah, isn't that weird? 
But now I like blackberry like jam or blackberry, you know, but it, it's a texture thing. I also hate pomegranates. I just don't. Um, and I have seen Britney Spears in concert. Mm. This was circa, gosh. Circa 09? Probably, yeah. 09, 2010. Me and, me and Becca, after the concert, waited outside of her hotel and was waiting on her. And we didn't see her, but we saw her manager, Larry Rudolph, and got a picture with him. Okay, I wow. think I remember you saying yeah. this before. Yeah. And I have never puked on a plane. So I don't know if I have. No. Mm -mm. Nope. So what's your two truths? Womanizer? Is that, that was hot? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Chelsea yeah. usually gets on the plane and falls asleep before the plane takes off, so I was trying to imagine you waking up and puking. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Do you ever go pee on the plane? Very, very rare. I'm the type of person, <clears throat> if I know I have to be on a flight, like if I have, to have an early flight, I won't drink water past noon the day before. Yeah. Because I pee all the time anyway. My bladder's so small, and I don't want to have to get up and... Because those bathrooms are so small, and I can't spread my legs in there. And I have a fat pussy, and it, the pee just goes everywhere. It's just, I don't, very rare. You need a peacock. I know. I would say 98% of the flights I take, I never pee on. I Same. pee right before and right after. Mm -hmm. But I've also never taken, like, a long-ass flight. They're all, like, two, three, four hours. Yeah, a 10-hour one would get me. I'd probably pee on that. You know, or, times. or wear a diaper. Yeah, I'll just put on a depends. Right. Just depends. Right. Okay, let's see. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <sighs> Two truths, one lie. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Taking care of your health isn't always easy, but... It should be at least simple, okay? That's why for the last at least two years, I've been drinking AG1 every day, no exceptions. It's just one scoop mixed in with water once a day, every day. And it makes me feel energized. I'm not as tired, to be honest with you. And that's because each serving of AG1 delivers my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics and more it's a powerful healthy habit that's also powerfully simple and simplicity is a big malt deal baby and if you know me you know i have a hard time swallowing <laughs> pills yeah. and honestly just remembering to take pills is hard for me so just one scoop is the easiest thing you can do one scoop, water, you chug it, you're mm -hmm. done. That's what I do. I put mine in water. Some people will add it to smoothies or however you like to drink it, but it has a vanilla -y taste and it gets down the hatch. Simple. With AG1, you know what I'm getting? You know what I know I'm getting, okay? Essential brain, gut, and immune health support with vitamins, probiotics, nutrients from whole foods. I like to think of it as nutritional insurance, you know, I know I'm covering my nutritional basis right from the start of the day. That's the thing. You know you need insurance when those shrimps are singing. When, oh, exactly. Full coverage. And, I, and, and here's my thing. First thing in the morning, knock out the healthy stuff first thing in the morning. Get it over with. You know what I mean? Yes. Start your day off strong. AG1 covers your antioxidants, your adaptogens, probiotics, prebiotics, and a whole food source nutrients. I know if I drink it daily, I will feel a boost in my levels. Malt Boosty, baby. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash viral. That's drinkag1.com slash viral. Check it out. I was at the game when Albert Pujols hit his 699th home run. Okay. I was at the game when Albert Pujols hit his 700th oh, home bitch. run. Oh, bitch. 
Or I got my mole off with floss. I know that's true. So you, you 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 cut a mole off with floss. I know that's true. Why would Robert Pilaf <laughs> <laughs> hit a six hundred and nine nine home run? It's got to be a seven hundredth home run. So that's true. I think the lie is a six hundred nine nine home run. Final answer. Yeah. The lie is. I've never got a mole off with floss. Damn. Switcheroo. <sighs> I was at both Dodger games when he hit those home runs. And those were big deals. And you should, you would like his last name. It's Pooh Holes. Mm-hmm. Pooh yeah. Holes. Yeah. I've tied <sighs> floss around my moles trying to get them off. But that they counts! Never, but they never came off. They're still there. That counts, though. And Greg will take a uh, razor blade and just cut that motherfucker off. I was going to say, we could get it off. These moles are too big. I'd bleed to death. We can ha- we can make it happen. Plus, you don't want to get rid of moles anymore because moles make you younger, we found out. What? It's more. It's better to have moles in your body. What are you talking about? Because it's like good skin. We talked about it one pot. I thought. We did. Yeah. Oh, I'm tripping. I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't just get rid turned of 29, anymore. but I actually turned 28 because I'm so moly. Yeah. Interesting. All right, well. <laughs> Maggie's actually 34 because she has a new mole. Maggie, it's your birthday. It's my birthday. Are we going to sing? Yeah, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maggie. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Hey, honey's choir here. Hey, honey's. Yeah, let us know if you want us to sing happy birthday for you. Yeah, we'll do it. On cameo. Yeah. We're we're not. (laughs) We're not on cameo. We're going to have a million people be like, I tried to find you on cameo. It was my birthday last week. (laughs) Um, let's do, let's check up calls. Hey, honey. Portland guy here. Um, so my ex kind of showed me your guys' pod. Um, and she's pretty funny. And I was, we were just watching it fucking busting up laughing, um, every week. And... Then we broke up, and it just kind of reminded me of her a lot. So I took a long break from watching it. Um, but the past month or so, when I get done with my morning routine, I just kind of listen to you guys. I'm catching up to the episodes. And whenever I'm in a bad mood or frustrated or just pissed off, you guys fucking really brighten my day. You guys are fucking hilarious. Don't stop doing what you're doing, seriously, because, I mean, it sounds like you help a lot of people, and I just love you. Oh, yeah. What a great way to start the calls. He was a sweet, gentle man. Thank you so much. We understand the need for a break, but we're happy you're back. Um, we appreciate the love and the support. I, you know, we've, I've, we've said this since episode two. We still can't believe people listen to this podcast. Um a damn trip so i I can tell though like if you started something with a partner mm -hmm. and then you move on from each other it would be hard to go back to what you right used to connect over absolutely i i i can see that for sure but um we're glad you're back we're happy we didn't lose you for good and she'll probably hear this call if she's still listening you know she absolutely will you know so shout out to you for well shout i'm sorry how's that a gaslight he manipulated this he knew what he's doing think yeah. brett only you think He's trying like to that. maybe get her back all right brett he's I, I loved his honesty too well and we uh, and, and shout out to the ex-girlfriend for spreading the good word of the viral podcast y'all it's y'all that's helping us take over the world and it's and it's truly without getting cheesy you know the people that download the audio and the people that watch the youtube and, and the people talk that share, about it y'all are literally like what keeps this podcast afloat the people that call people mm-hmm. so you guys I, are the super spreaders right Big time. So thank you guys so much. Love you, we love honeys. You. Hey, honeys. Mortician here. I've got a question and a story for you. Mm. My question is, what do you want to have happen to your bodies when you die? 
Do you want to be buried, cremated, human composted, launched into space? What do you think? I'm planning on being cremated and having my ashes turned into rock. Pretty cool thing, Google Parting Stone. I think it's really neat. And my story is just about a weird thing that I had happen during a funeral. Uh, I was taking care of a lady in her 70s. Her husband was grieving, having a hard time. But the day of the funeral, he was so impressed with the way she looked. He kept telling his, his deceased wife, oh, honey, you look so beautiful. Baby, you look so good. Um, so then the service starts and the pastor is, is up, you know, mid scripture speaking and the husband gets up out of his chair, goes up to the front, leans down in the casket and whispers to his wife, you sexy bitch, and then kisses her all over the face. I was in shock. I think a lot of people were in shock. Uh, he then, you know, turns around to go back to his chair and he's got cosmetics all over his face that I had, you know, put on his wife. Um, it was uh, it was a weird situation, so I just uh, just wanted to share that with you. Thought you guys might get a kick out of that. Love you, love you, honeys. You sexy bitch. What a cool dude. <laughs> what would you honestly do if you saw that? He I was would love. I would love it. I I, I would I, fucking I, die. I laughing. would literally think, what a cool dude. That dude. That would be so out of control, though. I know. No, I would love it. But it would be awesome. Um, I wish all funerals were like that. Here's my thing. Real talk. And I've said, well, we were having this discussion, what, a few days ago, Maggie? Yes, I know. We and were talking about it. And remember I told you I didn't want to have that discussion because I'm very weird. This only started two, three years ago where I almost don't want to talk about death or bad things or my worries about bad things. Because I, f- I feel in a weird way that if I do, it's almost me putting it out into the universe and it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm weird about that too. And I think and I think it's because of you, Paige. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. and Because I, I never thought about stuff like that until me and you became friends and you started talking about it, And then it kind of rubbed off on me and I'm like, oh, she's right. Well, I was asking you, I'm like, how do I overcome this? I like, know. I really fear death. And like I know a lot of people don't fear it. And a lot of people do, but I am a fearer. Well, and I used to never fear it until you fucking told. And then now I feel this. It's I, yeah, you rubbed off on me. So now I'm like, I don't want to talk about me dying or my fears because it's it's almost like I don't want to put it out there, you know. So I, when Maggie and Beth were like, "What do you want to? What do you want to happen to you after you die?" And I literally was like, "I'm not going to answer that because I don't want to," you know. Yeah, I'm very weird about it now, people and I hate ask that. Me that all the time, and it's just like I don't know because I don't. I'm not ready, mm-hmm. so maybe that's why I don't know. Yeah. But a rock would be cool. You might get fucked one couple more times by some <laughs> rock fuckers. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's great. Um, <laughs> I I told them I think I would want to be cremated. I don't think I want. I don't want to be buried. No. And which, by the way, I didn't know this was a thing. People still get headstones even if they're not buried. Yeah. Yeah. You can just uh, bury the ashes. Who was saying this? Brett's. Gr- I think I was telling you. And, I, and, yeah, and Beth was like, you don't want a headstone? I go, well, my body ain't going to be there. Well, hmm. What are you going to just go, like, I don't know. I, I didn't know that was a thing. <clears throat> Would you want your ashes there? I think I want to be cre- I know I want to be cremated. I can't imagine being in a casket and being embalmed and stuff. I, I don't want that. And I don't want to take up space. I don't want to take up space in the earth, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Just you know, I, I I just would feel, me personally, I would feel like I'm wasting, I don't know, I'm like, I don't want to waste up a space in the earth. I'm no longer here. So I would want to be cremated, and I told them I go put half my ashes into a, you know, a new baby tree to grow, and the other, hash it, the other half um, spread on the Nepali coast in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. So you want to be a little bit here, a little bit there? Yeah. Um, Gosh. what about you? Maybe some bring me to a lab or something to do some research on me. Use, you know, I could get donated to a, to somewhere. Yeah. Maybe like a brain thing. They could look up Maybe. what's been going on in my brain. Yeah. For research. Yeah. Or, uh, maybe put me on the ground and I could become some mycelium, some fungi. You can't do that. Legally. <sighs> Legally, we can't do that. 
People what, do it just all put the her time. on the ground? Yeah, we can't just... Oh, people Paige. just murder people and leave them all. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's murder. Yeah. But we can't just be like, oh, Paige is dead. Where's she at? Oh, we put her out back. <laughs> well, they're called like tree <laughs> burial pods. Yeah, yeah there's that's... There's places you can do it. That's a thing, but yeah. it has to be like, yeah, like a legit. Legal. Yeah. Gosh, because I don't want to really be in a casket. It just... No. Even a whole funeral, like I... That's so eerie to me, but it's like how could you go about death in a good not, yeah, yeah a good way <clears throat> so, you know it's really hard for me to i kind of think say. you can do whatever you want oh actually. sure yeah. now i will say this a couple things i will say this have y'all seen those people that get embalmed to look like they're alive and they like throw a party and they're like propped up we that, said we would do that on that's here. fucking awesome yeah like i said remember i said to put me with my ass face down <laughs> ass up that is fucking <laughs> awesome Mm-hmm. And we joke around a lot, me, Tina, Libby, Beth. We, we all joke around that if one of us dies, make con. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna capitalize on it, and we're, and we're gonna vlog the hell out of it, mm-hmm. and we're going to sell memorial T-shirts as merch. We have joked about this forever. We have joked about like if one of us dies, make one of those memorial T-shirts that they do for like old people back in the day. And mm-hmm. sell those motherfuckers like crazy. I said drag on my death content for so long. Have part one, <laughs> part two. Mm-hmm. Come back for the next TikTok. For, <laughs> death <you know>? content. <laughs> and honestly, making comedy out yes. of death is the only thing that makes yes. me cope with death. Because I've had so many... I mean, my best friend passed away when... Well, one of my best friends passed away when I was 18. So it's like, mm-hmm. how the fuck do you get past that? You just... You make jokes. Right. That, well, I do. Not everybody does, but it, it's okay with however you grieve. Or Absolutely. And that's why, you know, I feel like a lot... And n- nobody's going to die. I'm just saying. But if somebody did die in the group... <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> if, somebody did, if somebody did die in the group and we sold t-shirts... <laughs> Are we doing like in casket t shirts or what? I, I don't know, but listen, a lot of people would literally be like, that's just tasteful. That's real. I get that, but it's also fucking funny. Oh, it's to so capitalize. Funny. And that's, that's, it, you're exactly right. Like, that's how you fucking, like, it, everybody deals with things differently, but like, I think it would be hilarious if we sold memorial <laughs> t shirts for people, you know? So. We talk about that a lot. Even my dad, you know, he's getting up there and he he's always all our life said just toss me in the ocean. So like our family always jokes, oh, yeah, we can't fucking wait to toss you and just see you get attacked by sharks. Like (laughs) We just all fuck around like that. That's just our humor. And you got to, man. Got to. What else are you going to do? Just it's more fun to laugh than to cry. Yeah. And it. Yeah. It just makes me feel better than going, oh, dad, I'm going to miss you. Yeah. Are y'all getting cremated or what? Creamy. I think I would. I would get cremated. Where would you want to be spread? Um, probably the tree. The, uh, do a tree. A new tree. That's what Beth wants. Yeah. Yeah. Brett? Just with the mycelium. You yeah. Know, in there. Brett, I'm surprised you don't want to be in a casket, embalmed with your with your Picture. mustache perfect and your hair perfect and your head. No, I need shots. to get to the the next step. You what know? What's the next step? The mycelium. Okay. Yeah. Can you explain that to people that don't know what you're talking about? Well, mycelium is just like the... Uh, the neurons in the, of the ground? Yeah, it's just like trees can... They communicate with mm-hmm. each other back and forth through mycelium. Like underground. Yeah. almost It's almost like an underground nervous system for the earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very interesting. Definitely Google it. Yeah. But but basically, you would want to be put back down... Because we are, we are part of the earth. We're creatures. We're, you know, like you don't want to be just put back to to grow yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah to help to help grow the earth trees mush whatever mm-hmm. go hang out with the uh you know black hole sun area mm-hmm. over there you're big Summerland. on that yeah. yeah black hole sun won't you come and wash away the rain hey black hole sun. great little segue should we do a finish the lyrics yeah. Thank you for calling in, honeys. I love that question too. Yeah. Thank you for calling in, and that's really cool. You're gonna be a rock. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you could be turned into a rock. Interesting topic. You can be turned into jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. It, didn't that guy get his wife as a dildo or, yes. or a song? Yeah. Very interesting. So thank you for calling in. Let's do a finish the lyric. Mom always said finish your plate, and my ex always said finish on the first date. 
but I always say, I'll finish the lyric. Okay. <clears throat> I have three. How many do you have? I have two. Okay, just just hit. I'll hit you with one. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> And by the way, every time I'm trying to pick a song or pick a genre or pick anything, I always think I always it's hard to get it's hard to pick a song for you. Just keep that in mind. But I think I've got one in here that's you're really going to get. OK, you're being very optimistic. And it's the next one. But let me start with this one. OK, listen, baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low. Ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me. No matter where you are, no matter how far. <clears throat> Don't worry, baby. Just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. Cause, baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no river long enough. Oh, I st- keep, gotta keep going? Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. From keeping me from sucking you off, baby. You got it! Woo! Yeah. Oh, no. Woo! I like that. that. That counts, so for me. I would say that counts. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it ain't no river low enough? Ain't no, okay, because oh. baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low oh. enough. Ain't no river wide enough. To keep me from getting to you, oh, babe. From keeping me from getting to you, babe. But I would say that counts, Paige, so good job. Yeah. Dang, good job. it's the wide. <clears throat> it's the wide and the fucking low. And before moving on, can I just say, I have a roast in the crock pot upstairs, and it smells fucking good. It's it seeping through the walls. I smell it, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to dig that in that freaking uh, cabbage. Oh, oh, I'm going to dig yeah. in that, too. Okay, hit it. Hit me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, don't be doing all that. Ready? Okay. Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. <clears throat> Check in with me and do your job. Lay on the bed and give me head. Don't have to ask, don't have to beg. Juicy is my name, sex is my game. Let's call the boys, let's run a train. Squeeze on my butt. Hold on, let's call the boys, let's run a train. Squeeze on my butt. Oh my God. I know every word to this fucking song. I know. Hold on. You caught me off. It, it, it the cu- Okay. <clears throat> Let's call the boys. Let's run a train. Squeeze on my butt. No. Squeeze on my nuts. <laughs> Squeeze on my nuts. Lick on my butt. Natural curly hair. Please don't touch. Yep. Yes. There, you, that's the thing you kept saying. Squeeze on my butt. That's what I was getting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah. I got it. Woo! Yeah, you got where, it. Where's my Where's my sound bite? I can't find it. I don't know which one it is. I okay. love that. Even if we are wrong on the lyrics, we're like, we got it. <laughs> we, we got can't it. Except okay, that ready? we get them wrong. All right, your next one, Paige. Here you go, this and, and you so need funny. you need to get this one. Okay. Oh fuck, man. You ready? <clears throat> okay. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> A little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Woo! Twinkle, eat my ass. Dude. Yes, good job, honeys. Yeah. Thank you for doing something so easy. You're welcome. You did good. I think you'll get this one, okay. maybe. Here we go. What's wrong, Brett? What's going on, Brett? Oh, no, I was just looking for an air horn just it's, for fun. Uh, They're not on there anymore. I see it. Where's the <laughs> Nice. That's not the clapping, though. No, he wants oh, I know, yeah. but yeah. It'll it'll work. The applause. Yeah. Did you All see right. it? Okay. <clears throat> hit me. She <sighs> hit around corners and she hit under beds. She killed it with kisses and from it she fled. With every bubble, she sank with a drink and washed it away down the kitchen sink. The dog. Da- Is that it? Yes. yes. I don't. That was tight. Yeah. Well, no, I, I didn't know what you were singing. I was Let- going to start from the very beginning, but Brett was like, oh, don't do that. What? I will say this. Yeah. Lyric wise, I didn't know what you were singing, but the melody made me think of that song. Yeah. 
That's wow. cool. Okay. Hey, I can't believe you got it. Okay. You ready for this one? <clears throat> and I can't remember if, I, if I've done this song or not before, but let's just do it. <clears throat> I'm going to grab a tissue. Okay, honeys. You listen now? Yeah. I could stay awake just to hear you breathe on. Watch you smile while you are sleeping. Why you far away and dream on I could spend my life in this sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever where a moment spent with you is a moment I treasure sing the whole sing the whole thing I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Because even when I dream of you, I get the sweetest thing I'll ever do. I still miss you, baby. And I don't want to eat your ass. I got like half of it wrong. You got, like you got it all right. You, that's good. You, that's a song you really knew the whole chorus. Uh, I got so, the ha- second half a little wrong. No, you got it. In this Even the eat my ass surrender. part. Does didn't, he go like? Oh. Didn't I sound just like um, uh, Stephen Tyler? <laughs> yeah. How does it start out again? What are you talking about? I can spend my life. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We I already don't know. Spread my legs. <laughs> you can stick your dick in. I love changing lyrics to songs to make them perverted. There's nothing better. Yeah. There's nothing better. If I don't usually know the words, I'll just say giggity, giggity, goo, or yeah. just spread my ass or <laughs> lick my pussy. And it usually works. It always works every time. I remember Jerry got I mad at me once because I ruined songs. So I just kind of stopped doing it. Really? Yeah, sorry, Jerry. <laughs> well, I it does, but why stop doing it just because Jerry don't like it? Well, I just do it for Jerry. I don't really ruin songs, but I'll still try to. Ruin. Okay, change me a lyric to a song right now and hit and hit me good. That you usually do, just hit. Me. Oh, I can't even think of like uh, maybe "Stand by Me." Okay, do it. Come on, me. So darling, oh, that's a good one. Darling, come on me. Oh, hey. Yeah. All of me. Come. Darling, darling, come. On me. Oh, come. Come on me. Oh, darling. Just you come. Come on me. And don't that complain. Come on me. Don't that was beautiful. <laughs> no, I won't. Complain. Swallow your cum. <laughs> no, I won't swallow your cum. Because it tastes yes. just like yes. cottage cheese. Yes. Oh, no. that was. Darling, <laughs> darling, cum. That's not what Libby said. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Libby said my uh, <laughs> cum smell like pineapples. Oh, okay. Your cum? Wait. Yeah. What? When yeah, you smell? smelled it too, remember? And I sock? smelled your cum. Yeah, and that yeah, sock. sock. I never smelled it. You yeah, you smelled did. it. When? And the, I think maybe. No, you oh. don't like it on slits only. <laughs> yeah, on slits only. Oh, yeah. oh, we did. Mm-hmm. Well, shit gets cra- crazy over on slits. But can I just say something? Can y'all talk about what you did in the Bahamas? What did we do? When you didn't want to have sex and Brett wanted to. <laughs> oh, when he Ted Bundied me. <laughs> Stop <laughs> saying that. Oh, sorry, but well, that's... it was kind of Watsy more. Stop it! No. Okay. Oh, Ted. Yeah. Do y'all just want to say what happened? I tell her I'm addicted. Addicted. <laughs> Brett. Okay. Tell her what happened. <laughs> Come on, Brett. Spread oh, it. No, go ahead. I'm not. I'm not. This is your podcast. Okay. Basically, <laughs> oh. so Brett wanted to come really bad, and long story short, short, I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Ha- yeah. Haven't been feeling it, and so he just decides to start yanking my head around when I'm sli- like getting ready for bed just starts pulling on my Wait, hair and jerking on. off. Oh, yeah. Can I do well, a Zach Morris timeout? Yeah, I Before would time out. On. <laughs> <laughs> time out. Hold on. I, would, I didn't know about that. Brett, yeah. I would time out on that too because it makes it sound it makes it sound like you said no to sex, so he's yeah. just shaking your head. Oh, okay, yeah. The vibe was... Yeah. trying to stop yeah. it. Yeah, time out. 
the right. vibe. You're right, Brett. Time out on that. The vibe was, that I thought You she, did not tell the story good. Yeah, oh. she did not. No. Yeah. It, well, that's what I it was, was like to me. I was rubbing her head. Yeah. And I thought that she kind of wanted me to rub it harder, like harder and harder and Brett, harder. Brett, y'all are not telling the story correct. You were jacking off and you were sh- well, rubbing it, her head. Well, yeah, eventually I did that, but I thought that she liked like me pulling hard. So eventually I started pulling hard. and I While started... she's sleeping, by the way. No, she wasn't sleeping. She was Try enjoying the, the head thing, and I'm jerking off. It started out with him just playing with my hair. Yeah. yeah. And then he caught a boner. Yeah. Touching my head. Mm-hmm. So then he, he goes, oh, I started liking the roughness and started yanking on my head. Yeah. And you're jacking off while literally he has a handful of hair just shaking her head. Yeah. Eventually, I was on her, the back, sitting on her butt and pushing her head on the bed while I was jerking. He's being a Yankee again. Yeah. Weird, I was in full mount. Weird Al Yankovic for sure. <laughs> I was just, and I thought she was into it too. So that's kind of why I think. He How could I, I be it? into full it? Mount. Yeah. What did you say, Paige? How could I be into that? Like Wait, while you're trying to sleep, that is yeah. a good point. And he's pulling your head no, while she's trying out. to sleep. You're she told me she was. Brett, yes, I was. When my uh, iPad goes down and I'm watching. Okay, I did not know that. Crime, true crime. I didn't know you were actually asleep while I was doing. So all basically, this. Brett got off to pulling her hair while jacking off while Wait. she's asleep. Or trying to sleep. Try, and, and y'all told me that the next day, and I laughed so fucking hard. I go, so you were just jacking off while just pulling her hair? Yeah. I wonder if most men could just get off to that. Let us know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you think Greg could? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I love like massaging her and then just getting a jerk in, too. <laughs> It's what? grounding. I've never yeah, met you're, you're somebody. Grounding. I've never met somebody who could come so quick. Hello and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Malt stinky baby, you smelling? No, I'm not. I'm not either anymore. Mm-mm. Because I have lathered my Brad Pitts with Lumi deodorant. But how's your thunder from down under smelling? Oh, baby, it's fresh, okay? And you want to start this year off fresh? And we mean really, really fresh. Lumi deodorant has you covered, baby, from your pits to your privates to your feet. Yeah, really, you can use it everywhere. Lumi is a game-changing whole body deodorant designed by an OBGYN, bet you didn't know that, to work not only on pits, but also just everywhere else, feet, privates, pretty much everywhere you malt stinky. No matter where you use it, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long thanks to its one-of-a-kind pH optimized formula. And they've got over 275 thousand five-star reviews to show for it. Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. And it's been proven to control odor better than a shower with soap alone. 12 hours after a shower, the average person has an odor level of 6 out of 10. Now that's an average person, okay? Sometimes you be mal- a little bit malt above average. But with Lumi, the average odor level is 0 out of 10. It's pH balanced for safe use below the belt. It's baking soda free. It's paraben free. Make the switch to Lumi. And you'll unlock your freshest start ever, and your freshest butt ever, and your freshest lips ever. Malt switchy baby. New customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with our exclusive code and link. Use code VIRAL at LumiDeodorant.com. L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T dot com. Huh. Just I from my hand job. I can't remember ex-boyfriends or anything if I could just yank them off real quick and they could come. Like, he could come in two minutes just from a hand job mm. or less. Mm-hmm. Are most men like that? Not from a hand, not so. from a hand job. Maggie, any Mm-mm. guys you've previously? No? no. Interesting. That's rare. I huh? just love to nut and I just want to nut quick. Yeah, and you do love nutting. Mm-hmm. And you love jacking off. Mm-hmm. With Paige there, I love an audience. You don't even like to jack off 
you do jack off by yourself, but that's not no, like it. I don't. Well, you did a few, I, you did a few weeks ago. You talked aroused. about it. You talked about it. Well, I can't. M- me and Paige I, were gone, and you came back, and you said I jacked off to compilation cream pies. But that's that's like you know, I had to. Yeah. It's it's nice having a person there to share it with. I feel. <laughs> and more arousing. I, I just for think me. it's funny that when Paige doesn't want to have sex, then Brett just jacks off while like <laughs> looking at her or touching her. Or... Well, every night I'm massaging her for like probably two or three hours. I'd say. Oh, that's a fucking lie. I'm sorry. What? Oh, okay, wait. not every night. I'd say and on average, it's hours, about an hour. Bro. Brett, two to three hours, bro. I'm going to put yeah. you on the time lapse. Yes. Start timing it, Paige. Thank you. So when you're massaging her, you get hard. Yeah. And you just jack off? Yeah. Well, because she's, you know, naked. And I'm just like, dang. Just rubbing her. Huh. I'd be surprised if a lot of guys don't do this, too, actually. Oh, well, yesterday well, morning. Think, what, Maggie? Oh, didn't Brett get mad? Because you wouldn't fuck him, and that's why he went to the island. What? Yeah, that's a whole thing, and that is that is on our vlog. Yeah, that is on the Bahamas. Watch the Bahamas vlog. I went to the island because I was mad she wouldn't fuck me. Brett, that's got, what I thought. You weren't mad, but you were. Throwing, I might have said that. You, you were throwing a hissy not, fit. Yeah, Brett was throwing a hissy fit. Oh, I want pussy. Takes a fucking kayak and and kayaks over miles to another island. Well, it's there's all, no pussy. It's all on the vlog. It's an island that's 30 feet big. We should talk about it a little bit, though, because we talked about it on Libby's pod. And um, I just want to know, like, what would you actually do in a situation like that? If a grown-ass man all day long says, I'm going to canoe over to this island. I'm an island boy. And nobody wants to go with him because they think it's dumb to do that. And dangerous. And... Then that grown man takes off to another island when it's about to become dark Sundown. outside. While and none of us know what the hell. While he had been drinking all day. That's what got me. And smoking. That's why we were upset, Brett, because you were you were inebriated and you hopped on a kayak and were just going to another island on sundown. Mm. We were worried. We were worried about you. Well, it was the That's, fourth day there or something like that. Right? That so doesn't I'd already, matter. I'd already thought about all this in my head. But do you understand why we were like like scared for you and why we were yeah, upset un- that you did that? I can understand that? why, you know. Um, but I feel like also if I would have told you guys, you would have said, you, I can't go. Correct. So that's why I did it like that. Yeah. Because that's selfish. Cause you, that's pretty selfish of me, Because yeah. it was dark. You were... You had been yeah. drinking. Well, technically, I got back at sundown. Yeah. Okay, and so. when you left, you said, I'm staying the night on the island. Yeah. I said that? You did. Yeah, Well, I said did. I might stay there, but I had to scout it out first. I didn't know. So we didn't know where you were. We didn't know if a shark got you. We didn't know if you t- tipped over in the kayak. We didn't know if you drank. Like, we were worried about you. Just want to let you know. Well, you could see me the whole time. No, no we could not. not. No, really? we could not. Shit, I saw you guys. We could not see you. Huh, Interesting. We could not see That's you. very interesting. So yeah. we didn't know what had happened to you. So Yeah. And just don't... But I, I came right back, though, apparently. If it had been during the day and you hadn't been drinking, I wouldn't have given two fucks if he took the kayak to to an island. Yeah. Yeah. But those things mixed, we were... You well, know. I'm drinking all day and smoking. Correct. So... And you did mushrooms, didn't you? Yeah. Somebody smuggled yeah. mushrooms in. Mm-hmm. Somebody brought mushrooms oh, to the Oh, that's home. actually probably why I just went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Freak, dude. But he made it back, and he's here on the podcast. Oh, I went another day, too. Oh, yeah. but With, let's yeah. say, though, let's say Brett didn't make it back, and then we didn't call anybody or do anything because we thought Brett was staying the night on yeah. the island. Yeah. What if something happened? What, like, would something happen to us, you know, for us not calling and reporting a guy going or are you just like i know I don't you know, know. Hey, there's I don't some guy know. without a kayak license kayaking mm-hmm. no brett and then somebody lost a kayak at our airbnb and we had to pay 1300 dollars to replace the kayak so that that no. happened somebody that happened somebody so yeah that lost the kayak dude. but we still got a great review on our airbnb so that was really nice the guy said, I give Chelsea an 11 out of 10 because she told me the second there was an issue with the kayak and most people wouldn't and kudos to her and everybody everybody was great and treated the house like their own. 
So we did. We did. Well, we, he he probably said these are some cool people because we were topless in the pool and he had cameras on the pool. Yeah, that's the true. whole time showing oh, each other damn. our butt holes. Well, I wasn't topless. Oh, I forgot to add that footage to the vlog of us showing each other our butt holes. Yep. Oh, Dang. Yeah. Did you already upload it? Yeah, but I'll I'll, I'll completely <laughs> do another one. I'll do yeah, another vlog. Two. Yeah. Um. No, not only was I topless, but my pussy was out. Yeah. All week. Yeah. All week. I was sitting there putting um, seashells in my freaking pubes yeah. right next to the camera. Oh, boy. He's got footage for a couple of years. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's good. That's T- why he's happy. We yes. got like a year's worth of footage, I'd say. Yeah. You know, Me and Beth stuff. were naked, skinny dipping one night when y'all went to dinner. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that was fun. We were up on that little flamingo. Every Airbnb we go to, <laughs> we'll naked. see the cameras don't right care. there and we're getting naked in front of them oh and then yeah. You, yeah we don't care and then you have people on tiktok looking inside the outlets to see if there's little cameras hidden oh yeah, yeah we're, we're walking around naked mm-hmm. we're like cool there's a camera let's get our tits out i will say this to me nothing feels better than a skinny dip yeah oh yeah i'm talking the feeling not only physically but spiritually i was skinny dipping in the pool in the ocean it feels incredible. Even riding the four wheeler when we rode it naked, mm-hmm. that oh, was well fun. That was kind of hot. We got to do that out on the land. Wait till we get a four wheeler and we'll go out there and ride naked. We're gonna have snail trails all over them seats, mm-hmm. slipping mm. in or sliding. We'll put a little washcloth down underneath your our fupas. That would be cute. Have little pussy cloths hanging mm-hmm. on the sides. Yeah. Pussy cloths. Nothing feels better than just being naked out in nature. And I'm oh, serious. I know. It feels incredible. It does. Physically, it feels good. And, and, and deeper, it feels good. God, it's so good. I understand why people like create little compounds where they walk around. I get it, dude. Like, it just feels so good. Having the sun hit on all oh. parts of your body. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. And I don't do it enough, and I need to. Yeah. We do need to sun our butt holes more. Yes. Me and you are pretty good about that in the summer, but we need to do it almost year round. We just lay out towels in the driveway. We need to go uh, grounding in the backyard where, where all those mushrooms are naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a I'm lot. serious. A lot. Yeah, just yeah. feet on the ground. Yes. And we need to find some copper wire. Yes. Slip it under our beds. Yep. Greg's gonna do that. I want to get nice. all new silverware and stuff. Just that's real copper. Yeah, that's a good idea. 100% copper. How do you know the magnet test? But still, I don't get it. I see that you can get copper wire out of like old TVs and yeah. stuff. Like everything's copper finished now. Right, something. right. I'm yeah. sure they have a hundred. I'm sure you just have to look, but I'm sure they'll be very expensive. I need to go to a scrap mm-hmm. yard. And make your own forks. Yeah. Just you own love, everything. You love doing that stuff. My mom makes forks. Rings and shit out of forks and spoons and all that. Cute. Mm-hmm. You you and your mom are very artsy. You, yeah. Not artsy. What's the word? Look Just for? crafty. Crafty. Mm-hmm. We love crafts. Mm-hmm. My mom's making soap and Aunt Chody. Oh, shout out to Aunt Chody. <laughs> They're making soap and selling it in coffee shops yeah. and stuff. Good for them. That's exciting. And we know your family's listening. So, hey, guys. Um, I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. <laughs> And uh, yeah, thank thank you to Paige's family for listening. We know nobody in our family's listening, Maggie. No, mm-hmm. not one person's listening. Yeah, right. No, nobody's listening. But but your whole family's listening, and your sisters are listening, and and we love you guys. I was surprised that my best friend in Utah listens, Rachel. Yeah. Rachel, Rachel listens. I don't know why I'm so surprised she listens to like every episode. Right. Yeah. And there's nobody you thought weird, like that listens that you didn't think. I'm trying to, I don't think so. I thought your aunt listened. She, I mean, I think she listens here and there, but she's not like, she's not an every episode person. Watch her text me when this comes out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll listen to every episode. We didn't know she listens, and then it's funny. Mm-hmm. I, we had no clue she listened. And then several episodes ago when we were talking about Maggie's hookup guy, mm-hmm. her her weekly, weekly guy. Oral for an hour. Yeah. Gayla texts me. And she's asking about. She said, "So what's up? What's up with this guy Maggie seeing?" I'm like, "I'm thinking what?" And we're like, "She listens to the pod." I'm like, "I'm not mm. seeing anybody. What is she talking about?" Yeah. And she that brought it up. Out of control. Yeah. So, um, 
So watch. So, so watch, watch your what back. you say. You never Wha- know who's watching. <laughs> you never know who's watching and count your blessings. <laughs> and hey. count your blessings. Um, let's hit a, let's hit up another call. Can I can I say that you uh, you were going to go to the island with me, which I thought was cool. Well, uh, let me say this. You're 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 right, Brett. You're right. Yeah, that's why the yeah. kayak actually went missing. So I was going to go. <laughs> there was two kayaks, and I was going to go <coughs> to the island with Brett. I was going to attempt it. Mm-hmm. Now I've never been in a kayak, and I didn't know how hard or easy it was going to be. But I was going to attempt it with you, and that was awesome. But I woke yeah. up with the sand flea bites. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even leave the house that day. That's how bad it was. Yeah. So next time we go, Brett, I will do that with you. Okay. Wait, so did you guys go to the store and then you got back and because I have a bunch of footage of when the kayak probably went missing. Mm -hmm. And I think in in that time frame of the kayak going missing, we were all in the pool showing each other our buttholes. That's when I think the time it happened. Whoa. Yeah. That's going to be awesome footage then if you can maybe see the kayak, where it went. Like, yeah. did it go to another island? I was zooming yeah. in on the background. I couldn't see. It's a bright lime green kayak. <laughs> and we were all, we were getting ready for pictures, mm-hmm. though. So Some, we were all in the house. Oh, somebody got a free $1,300 kayak. So mm-hmm. enjoy that. While we were showing each other our buttholes. <laughs> How was awesome kayak. Dumb. The, the kayak was only like, what, 350 But it was shipping. Well, I want to say it was, it was like, yeah, it was like the shipping and getting to the island was much more. Yeah. So. This island. There was nothing there. Like, they only get two shipments of food each week. Yeah. So, it's really expensive. Like, apple juice was sometimes 12 bucks. Everything was oh. very expensive. And everything tasted old. Mm-hmm. And Everything was rotten so fast. The, all the oranges we bought, like, rotted the well, same me day. And, me and Libby tried to, we literally drove around stopping at restaurants, and this was like at, like, noon. This was like noon to restaurants to mukbang at. We went to multiple, and we walked in. They are like, oh, we're out of food. We're out of food. The kitchen's closed. We're like, what? At, like, noon on it. It was just wild. It was hard, it was hard to find food on the island. It was. Mm-hmm. But we all lost some pounds. What was awesome though is we had the beach pretty much yeah. to ourselves. Oh, we had a week. private beach. Yeah. yeah and I bet island. that will yeah, bet that will never happen again. No. Just yeah. us being there. I bet it's gonna start getting developed and yeah. Malt packy. Malt packy baby. All right, let's hit it. Gary. Hey honey. So I have a wild story <clears throat> to tell you. All right. Um, I had met up with this girl off of Tinder. We didn't drive separately, which is a mistake on my part. I know. I know. Um, We spent the day together at her house. um, It ended up getting pretty late, so I just decided to stay the night at her her place. First night meeting her, I know. Another red flag. But mind you, this is the first time I've ever hung out with this girl. Um, We never ended up kissing that night. Like, nothing transpired. You know, just hung out. Um, I wake up in the middle of the night. To her biting my fingers, gnawing on them, (laughs) randomly, in the middle of the night. Um, I'm not kidding. (laughs) Um, I jerked my hand away and just fell right back asleep. (laughs) Just fell right back asleep. Uh, Nothing was said the next morning. She took me home, um, and I blocked her, and that was that. (laughs) End of that. But, yeah. Wanted to spill that story for you guys. Um, oh, yeah. Wow. Um, Hide your fingers. <laughs> I wonder if she was, like, sleeping and just doing it, or was she gnawing on them motherfuckers? If I woke up and somebody was gnawing on my fingers, I'd be like, nah. I'd be like, go down and gnaw, <laughs> gnaw on this clip. Yeah, gnaw somewhere else. You're going to be uh, gnawing on something. Make it count. <laughs> yeah, make me come. Uh, wear gloves. Gnaw like. <laughs> wear gloves. <laughs> gnaw like. Gnaw like. And the funny thing is, is she got home and blocked her. Can you imagine if that gr- the girl that got the girl that was doing the gnawing was like, um, her friend was like, oh, how'd that date go? And she's like, oh, I got blocked. What happened? I let my guard down and I was <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I showed my true cards too quick, and I was gnawing on them nubs, and she just didn't like it. Don't bring out the gnaw first night, unless you're gonna gnaw 
on something with nerve endings. God, even just nah. you wake up and she's gnawing on your pussy. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, at least wake me up. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. She must be from Nolens. Stop, Brett. She must have a nano. I would love, I would love more, um, uh, Colin with your, uh, crazy, like, wake ups, m- meet, meet up or Tinder. Like, Naughty. she said she met this chick. <laughs> Nadia. Nadia. I bet her name was Nadia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Colin with your crazy Tinder experiences. Yeah. Or yeah. just like if you've ever been sleeping and woken up for, to some weird shit. Yeah. I can't think if I have, but I know that my cousin's husband wakes up and like, He's grabbed his gun before, like, mm. I'm like, hide the gun. Put the gun in a safe. Yeah. Or get one of those bedside things mm-hmm. for Because be people great. literally just sleepwalk and can do the weirdest shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big time. When I was in high school, I might have said this on the pod, but this boy uh, slept walk <laughs> into my friend's bedroom and was hiding under the bed. That's a... That's yeah. an interesting one to go upstairs and yeah, all that. Yeah, that. that'll get you. That'll and get walk you for sure. all the way through town. That's uh, across the main road. Yeah, let's um, let's put locks on his door. Playing sleep frogger. What's sleep frogger? Well, just frogger. Oh, uh, what, what's frogger? Just, you've never played frogger? I never heard Atari, of Atari, the video game where you go on the log and up across the river. Uh-uh. Oh wow! You're yeah. a frog and you try to jump across the busy road. <clears throat> well, they didn't have uh, you know a video game set sweets i think you could play this on a pc computer never yeah. heard of it yeah. i'm a big super nintendo guy what about yeah. gold miner never heard of that Mm-mm. damn super nintendo or nothing that was my last get and go really i peaked at a uh, street fighter 2 and nba jam i don't even know no, no. Yeah. peaked super nintendo super mario or nothing no donkey kong game? hell no Mm-mm. The only video game that matters in this fucking world is Super Nintendo Super Mario. All the little hidden things. And yeah. I will slip Donkey Kong up. The in flying there. with the Tra- tail. Chelsea. Yeah. I'll go to my grave on this. Have you played Donkey Kong? I feel like I have briefly, but I'm telling you, anything else besides Super Nintendo is not worth my time. There's hidden little tricks in Donkey Kong, though. Oh, really? Oh, I, w- yeah. I want to jump. Whoa. I want to jump on mushrooms and get coins. Mm. Jump on that ground and get some bananas. Doesn't do it for me. Jump on this. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jump on this, ma'am. Ma'am. Conch. Well, call it. Call us in with your Tinder, uh, crazy Tinder experiences. I would like to know that. I got to bring up one thing too. Yeah. My birthday trip, even though it's Maggie's birthday, but I got to get this out now. Okay. Or else we're gonna run out of time. Okay. Um. Your birthday is in um, September. Se- yeah, September. Your 30th. Yeah, my 30th. So we got to make it big. But I was talking and, to... And then we'll no longer have someone in the group in our 20s. We're getting Nobody? Old. We got to mm. find somebody. Mm. Yeah, we got to find somebody. Mm. Uh, But I was talking to Jasmine, and she was just like, you know what you should do? You should just go to the place that has, like, the biggest cocks. And I was like, wait, what? And I was like, that is fucking funny. What do you mean? Like, if we just Google, well, it was where... actually my idea. Oh. Yeah, if sorry. we just Google, where? Hold the... on, Brett. Why do you want to take credit for that? The well, she said like... it was Jasmine's idea. I'm like, you know what? Uh, that was mine. I'll well, take we were it. all just yeah. kind of talking about it. <laughs> so and... you want to find the area in the world that has the biggest cocks on men? So, yeah. So then yeah. people go. Why did you travel here? And we're just like, oh, because we Googled where the biggest cock in the world was. And where is it? That's what we're going to do. I want you to Google it, and that's where we should just go and just say, fuck it. What if it says Nashville, Tennessee? Oh, hell <laughs> So no. the biggest one cock or the biggest region of biggest yes. cock? How would they An average. How would they measure that and know that? Uh, like a ruler? A, a, <laughs> either a ruler or like a, a... Measuring tape? They got to know. What? Maybe, maybe How? just like based on birth, they know something. That's no, that's you, not true. You, you've never you just googled Google what it? country has like the biggest penises with, for guys. Do it now, or, Brad. No, I, it's the. Well, this was in 2018. I, I guess it changes. Um, but uh, yeah, Congo is definitely up there. Okay. The average is 7.1 inches. Okay. I'm assuming flaccid. Sure. Maybe. 
It's pretty big. If you go to the doctor, <laughs> Congo, too, like the jungle, the country. Oh, okay. Yeah. We might have to go to Congo. <laughs> <laughs> At or least like for I a think Sudan's nights. up there. Hold on, let me. Uh, Where is Sudan? Okay. Yeah. Chelsea, people They're are in asking Africa. us why we were there or why we chose our vacation destination, and the only reason is because the biggest cocks in the world we heard are That's here. That's actually funny. We have to. I'll go wherever. And it's just like a surprise to all of us. That's actually a really good, a really good surprise. A really mm-hmm. good random, what's uh, adventurous, spontaneous. The spontaneity would yeah. be... What are the other countries? What are the top? Those are the t- top two? So, uh, so 2024, the top country is Sudan. Where's that? That's in Africa, Guess kind of by the Congo. I've always in that wanted area. to go to Africa, for real. And I have, too. Yeah. So, could you go on a safari? <laughs> Looking we, for some big cocks. Should we do that for your 30th? Yeah. An African safari? Oh, my gosh. A cock fari. You were just saying how you... Conch your savings for San Francisco, <laughs> and now here we go on an African safari. African safari. <laughs> Looking for big conch. Conch your savings. Conch your savings. We're going. I'm Find being some serious. Draft cock. So, yeah, I go Sudan, Congo, and then, uh, I mean, Ecuador. That's pretty close. That's, that's like, Mexico, yeah, right? Central America. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, that's I right. Think. That's right. No, yeah. you're right. Africa. Do you want to do it? How long's the flight? It's long. Bathroom breaks will be needed. Yeah, I'll probably need to wear a diaper. Yeah, it goes Sudan, Congo, Ecuador, uh, Republic. So Sudan, uh, there's two Congos, I guess. Okay. So one's the DR Congo. So Sudan, DR Congo, Ecuador, and then the R Congo, and then Ghana, Nigeria, Venezuela, Lebanon, Colombia, and then Cameroon. It'd be funny if they, top if they threw in a Tampa, Florida in there. <laughs> just, one, <laughs> just one random just city. Just a bunch of liars. That is out Cincinnati, of Ohio. <laughs> I love how it's like all freaking Africa. Yeah. Hmm. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I know you wanted to go to Greece. Would you rather go to Africa over Greece? Just for the storyline. Hey, can I come? That's a memorable 30th. We can go to Greece kind of on a Tuesday. No, we can't. But I'm down. I have I think I would like to go to Africa more than Greece. Well, let's go. And I've been doing so much research on Greece, and every little beach seems like filled. Just a lot of stairs and oh, touristy. Yeah. Like, mm. I would like to go. Hot and, guys. I'd like to go to a not-so-touristy part of Greece. Okay. And I don't know what that is. Yeah. We'll figure it out. That's the sedan. Because you know how we went to the Bahamas and there was like nothing there? Mm -hmm. I kind of liked it. Yeah. Well, I'm down for that. Get ready for Paige's uh, 30th birthday extravaganza. Cock tour. In Cock tour 2024. (laughs) Maggie, you going to Africa? I don't know about that. Whoa. I thought Maggie would be like, heck yeah. Go on. Cock tour 2024. Cock tour. (laughs) Can you guys go sub to Maggie's uh, OF so oh, that so she can get that, <laughs> so she can get that Africa so she money? Can afford to go to Africa. Hey, am oh, I am man. I going? Or you guys need somebody to record it, right? Uh, well, we don't need somebody sneaking off to islands and shit. And we, I won't and, do that. And we don't need somebody that you sit there and say you need somebody recording, right? But as soon as we get there, I'm like, hey, Brett, can you vlog this? <laughs> oh, I won't want me to vlog. This <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not recording. Fuck you and walking yeah. off. That's what yeah. he did. I know. I won't do that. I did not do that. Yeah, you did, you, Brett. Yeah, you had done that, Brett. No, every time you asked me to record, you I did. No. Oh, oh no. I said no. I'm no. out of here. I'm going to my island. <laughs> can. Mm-mm. No, don't bring it up. <laughs> Whatever. No. Yeah. Anyway, Brett was a little hard to deal with in the Bahamas. What? And Brett, it's your dad. Time's <laughs> up, and it's Maggie's birthday, and she—that's her one wish. I will say mm-hmm. this. I think I haven't been a. You drank all day. You you never got drunk, but I think you stayed at a. He got sassy. You and when you drink, Brett gets very sassy and not in a cute way. He's very like rude. I yeah. never drink. I would, what are you guys talking about? I would say yes. He he was rude in the Bahamas. He called me stupid a lot and um <laughs> scared sis. Yeah. 
I've got footage of that. So Brett was a little hard to deal with. Was in the this Bahamas. when you guys called me Ted Bundy? So we don't. So we don't know if you're going to make it to Africa, but we'll like, let you know. know. What, yeah, he was I acting ki- out. I might kill all you guys. All yeah, right. that's what Brett said. He goes, "I'm going to kill you in your sleep." <laughs> I'm, he, I'm going to well, kill all y'all tonight. And Sis was freaking out because me and Maggie room. went. Well, you silent. called me Bundy. <laughs> just out of nowhere. I I'm had just to getting tell food. Brett, I'm making bread. I had to tell him to stop. Yeah, because Sis was so scared. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. So Brett, you know. Brett, you can come to Africa with us if you just stick with your vape pen. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we'll, see. Oh. we'll see, though. We'll see oh, about okay. that. We'll see about that. Um, uh, let's let's hit up another call. Yeah, let's hit that call. You, th- you think that'll be... Hey, honeys. Um, I just had a question, um, just because I'm curious. So I don't know if you guys have answered this question before, because I honestly just started listening to your podcast. My mm. friend referred it to me. <clears throat> And you guys are freaking hilarious. Love you guys. Um, but I want to know if you guys shower after sex, like, or if you just kind of like have sex and then like just wait until the next time you need to take a shower. Um, or if it just depends on like the day, like if you're feeling like taking a shower after, or if you're just kind of like, oh, we just had sex and, you know, go to bed. Let me know. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to the uh, the cult here, honeys. Thank you for being a rock fucker, and thank you to your friend for referring us. Yeah, thanks for joining Scientology. <laughs> um, that's real. No, that is awesome. Thanks to your that super spreader too. Um, yeah, sure. thank you to the super spreaders out there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we start calling. Holy I, shit. I think that's funny. Yeah. I think that's funny. Holy shit! Do I? Here's my thing. I I. I'm a big, I will not have sex unless I've showered before. But after? After I'm not a big shower. I don't, because I've already showered before. Yeah. It just depends, like, if I get nutted in or not, honestly. I don't have, like, a routine where if I have sex, Mm -mm. I have to be like, oh, I have to shower. It just, everything depends for me on my day-to-day life, honestly. Now, if I get nutted in, I'll just go sit on the toilet and clean that up. Maybe use a dude wipe and clean (laughs) that up. But I don't think I'll jump in the shower. Um... But I'm a big, oh, I, I will not, dude, I have to shower before. Even if I don't stink, even if I don't feel dirty, there's no way I'm not showering before. I don't always shower before. Oh, I, there's, no, yeah. no. Do you shower before every time, Maggie? Yeah, have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. It's a courtesy th- thing, man. Even if, dude, I don't care if you've been married for 30 years. Like, let's shower. I mean, now sometimes I get it, This it's spontaneous you, you know you're you're willing to risk some odors but for the most part let's let's clean our holes i would say if my vagina starts smelling it's not more it's not fishy it's more just like onion based <laughs> red onion or yellow onion uh like a caramelized like a sweet sweet, sweet uh, that's not bad and yeah. if you're an onion lover I mean, tangy yeah yeah onion. better like onions if you're gonna get down there but. right right I'm not always showering. No way. I'm, but I don't shower. I, I no. I, afterwards, no. I'd say I don't shower. Just depends for me. Yeah. So that's he just doesn't like me it. to shower before or after. Really? I like, she Why likes me dirty. One? You like the musk ball smell? No. She just likes uh, no water. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. She's well, down on the water from the pipes. What are you like. talking about? You know, the one that you have to pay for, kind of. She doesn't want to pay the water bill, so she doesn't <laughs> want you showering? No. Uh, well, it's kind of, I, I kind of view it as government water, you know? Huh? I mean. What are you talking about, Brett? <laughs> just getting better water. Uh, you literally insane. I'll let her talk. Okay. Because it's her. Hey, Brett. You know, why she likes me dirty. Hey, Brett. Brett, I don't I, I like you water. fucking dirty hey, Brett. or not, okay? That's true. <laughs> hey, I don't Brett. give a shit. It's just you go and shower for like 50 minutes. Yeah. So it's like if I'm going to fuck, I'm not going to wait 50 minutes yes. if I'm going to oh, go to bed. Oh, it's a time thing. If I'm going to wow. go to bed, I don't want to wait an and, hour and for here's you to primp. If, if, if I'm going to... Gary! Now, if if... I'm going to bone. I'm not going to say, hey, wait, let me shower. No. Yeah. Yeah, my I'm dick's go- already hard. I'm going to go shower, yeah. clean my puss real good, and then walk in being like, let's fuck. 
mm-hmm. you know, doing a little spread, a little eye contact, <laughs> you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if Greg came up to me and I had and I had just been just, you know, gardening, s- just gardening all day, and I've been sweating and my pussy be stinking, and if he came up, there'd be no way in hell. What if you put like a clothespin on his nose? I'd be like, no, I go, I'd either say no or let me shower first. What if he was just like, I don't give a fuck. Let me yeah. stick it he, in. He, he will give a fuck. Really? Yeah. Big what time. If, huh. Big time. There's no way. Because if I say no, I stink. That motherfucker's running out the door. Hmm. Well, <laughs> and it's not want to fuck Because he knows like if yeah. you say it stink, it stink. Yeah. Cotty. It's like, trust me. Trust I know, the process. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you live with it. Right. I mean, if you can just kind of bend your head down and smell. I don't want to smell no odors while I'm fucking. Ooh. I, even my own odors. Nah. See, I like that stuff. I feel like once you start fucking, any odor goes away, kind of. Yeah. The juices. Hey, Brett, are you a backup singer over there? <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, love that question though, honeys, and welcome to the club. Thank you for calling in. Love you, honey. Love you. So, I have to get something off my chest. Whoa. I've been meaning to call for a while, but I've been a little nervous. I am a retired wall walker, but in a different form. When I was in high school and not seeing anybody, I was a wall walker. I wouldn't use my headboard though. I would use my closet or put my feet under the, um, my bed frame so that I could almost be like a little pretzel. And I must say that it, I didn't do it a lot. I did it maybe once every couple months when I was really, really horny and I wanted to try to suck myself off because it hurts like a motherfucker. It's like crunching your body down and trying, after you nut, you realize, ouch, this fucking hurts. And you have to unravel yourself slowly. And I would cramp sometimes. It was awful. But I just wanted to call and let you know that I think this is more common than um, we think. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. we got a lot of wall wow. walkers out there. Turn himself into a salted pretzel to try wow. to suck his own dick. Yeah. Whatever happened to just laying on your back and jacking off? People are just clomping. Pocket. They're just getting bored. Uh, people are getting bored and they're climbing walls. Mm-hmm. walls. They're getting really creative, yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. But I'm thinking... Cramping up? I just feel like if I'm trying to nut, climbing a wall is the last thing I'm going to do. I guess we don't have Time. penises, though. Yeah, it may be different. To get up a wall and then... <laughs> I mean, if I had something hanging yeah, and you're horny enough, you might want to... Yeah. Try to suck on it yourself. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, thank you for admitting that, you know, uh, not admitting, but what's the word I'm looking for? Thank you for... Thanks for telling us about your retirement. Yeah. I hope you had a retirement party. And congratulations. Confessing. Yeah, congratulations. Yes. Conf- like a confession. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do most men want to suck on their own dicks? I feel like at least once to try, see what it's like. I can totally get after you do it, how you, after you come, you would be like, oh, what the hell? I just got twisted up into a Wetzel pretzel. Yeah. Because sometimes you watch porn and you're not, and then you're like, gosh, this is fucking nasty. Why or they're all annoying, you know, they're yeah. like still talking. Like it's fine until you nut, and then yeah. you're just disgusted yeah. with the porno after. Yeah. Why do your, what happens when you're horny? Just all freaking senses out the window? You'll do anything to get that nut. Yeah, that's why they call it that nut, post nut clarity, because you're thinking syndrome. you're thinking straight after you nut. Before you're just like, uh, just thinking about <laughs> nothing. Uh, you know, you can't. Even. You'll watch the nastiest shit. You'll watch the nastiest shit that when that when you're thinking straight, you're not gonna enjoy. You're just but like, a nut. Who will just, am I as a human? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a night and day, huh? Yeah. Men. Hundred percent. It's a 100%. nutmare. Get <laughs> not man. Gary. Gary. I love nutting. Yeah, Gary, when's the last time you nutted? Just now, five minutes ago. Check your shoes. Ah. Gary is so cute. Mama Bay. Ba- listen Look. to him. Listen. Oh, he's breathing. Hmm. 
All right. Uh, thank you for calling in, though, honeys. Love you, and thank you for listening to the pod. We appreciate you. So this is the last phone call. Whoa. Last call of the day. Whoa. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Hey, you know what I'm leaving behind in 2023? What, Chelsea? Stress. Okay. What are you leaving behind? Probably bad sleep and malt leaky. That's a good one. The new year is a perfect time to move on. Okay, move on from things that just aren't working for you. With Next Evo Natural CBD products, oil-based CBD can be one of them. You guys know we work with Next Evo Naturals here on the pod. Um, Because straight up, not only do we use them, but we love them. Okay, I truly love these products. They've helped me sleep. Um, Oh, man, take one of those gummies right before bed. I am knocked out and not in a bad way. I Here's my thing. I'm such a light sleeper. I need a little something to get a good night's rest. And this is the stuff. True, true. And I have a little bit of OCD and I stress out sometimes. But when I pop in my mm. CBD gummy, I feel a little relieved and just things don't bother me as much. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Try their strongest gummy ever, the new Extra Strength Daily Wellness CBD Gummies. I'm loving these, by the way, which, well, which customers love. Or try the all-time bestseller, their Stress and Sleep CBD Complex products. And you guys, their products are proven to absorb four times better than most oil-based products and they work fast with absorption starting in just 10 minutes. Next Evo is the only brand that has conducted human clinical studies to test the value of their products. And that's a good deal. And that's a big deal, okay? And their label contents are 100% guaranteed. So what you see, guess what? Guess is what? Is what you get. Is what you get. Leave oil behind and start the year with more effective and fast-acting CBD from Next Evo Naturals. Get 25% off any order or up to 60% off as a new subscriber by using code VIRAL at nextevo.com. That's 25% off your order or up to 60% off a new subscription at N-E-X-T evo.com with promo code viral get better malt sleepy baby <laughs> get better malt sleepy what's the deal for the day honey mm. oh what's that right. what's the deal for the day honey uh, anyway mean. i don't know how i found you guys but i did and i so thankful for that you guys are funny you're hysterical you're real um, got two questions here. Well, one's more of a comment. Um, I just think it's crazy that in this huge world, you two found each other because I couldn't think of a better match. Uh, peanut butter and jelly have nothing on you guys. Uh, anyway, love you. All right, second one's a little more real. Uh, uh, married a long time. Been with my wife forever before we got married. Very happy. He couldn't be more happy. Um, my my love, the way I, oh man, the, the way I need to be loved is physical. I need to feel physical, be physically touched, um, you know, contact, anything, slap on the ass, whatever it is. Uh, and my wife is not that way. Great person, great woman, my soulmate, without a doubt. Um, but for the most part, I, for the most part of our relationship, I find that I'm pursuing her, you know, like I want to, you know, I'm pushing her romance. I'm, you know, engaging and she's not so much. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I, it's not a day that goes by that I'm not thinking about her or that I don't want to, you know, be intimate with her, but. I've kind of backed off a little bit to see how she would play it and it didn't work out so well. So, you know, she's not, she's, I, maybe she just doesn't need it, you know, or maybe, you know, we have three wonderful kids. So like, it's, 
you know, I just, I don't know. Like, what do I do? Do I go back to pursuing her, or, like, you know, whenever I want it? Or should I just wait until she makes the first move? Um, I feel like it's more of a, you know, like a older relationship problem. I've probably, I've been with her for over 20 years, married, you know, 17. So anyway, love you guys. You girls are the best. Brett, you're the man. Keep that mustache going. And, uh, you know, like I said, happily married. Love my wife forever. But, God damn, Maggie, smoke show. Keep it up. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, I, okay. He said keep wow. it up. That was cute. What a cool dude, first off. Okay. And I love that you found us and you found this podcast randomly. That makes me happy to hear. That was so sweet. Peanut butter and jelly. Very sweet. I love it when people say, oh, I didn't know who you were and I randomly came across your podcast and now I'm a rock fucker. Makes me happy. And lots of men calling in this episode. I know. Love that. <laughs> yeah, we love do. the guys. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But what about the girl? <laughs> <laughs> you seem like such a cool dude and you seem truly happy in your marriage. <laughs> I think, and you seem like you kind of know, I mean, you know what's going on. You know the issues there. You seem level-headed as fuck. Um, Seems in love. Yes. I think for sure a big part of it is y'all have been together 20 years. I mean, (laughs) shit's no longer exciting and fresh, and that's completely normal. It, It seems like your love language, physical touch, I'm sure sex you know, they say that if your love language is physical touch, you need to separate that from sex it's completely two different things oh yeah you're saying you love a slap on the ass so i'm sure like uh, hand hold uh hand holding kisses hugging um what's her love language yeah i was wondering that like are you fulfilling her yes. love language too like make sure that you're both going in mutual you know Have right that. you meet in the middle do you know her love language are you I would uh, assume it's acts of service, most likely. Yes. Why do you say that? Just, you know, a dig I just did. Why? Because I feel like Paige likes... Hey, Brett, we're not talking things. about... Brett, me. this is not about you, brother. Hey, Brett, it's no, your I'm dad. No, I'm just saying, I think most Brett, women... Brett, your dad's calling. Most women like for you to do shit for them. <laughs> hey, Brett, do you You're hear that? not sure what language. All right, Brett, okay. making it about him. Let me go back to what I was saying. Totally. Hey, Brett... Or that curtain's going to be up shortly. <laughs> um, okay, listen. I would definitely, truly, and I'm sure I've talked about it, but I, I would just literally be, it could be as simple as, hey, you know, um, can we do something here? I know your love language is this. If you don't know it, find it out. But I'm sure you do. Your love language is this. My love language is, is this. Can we take the next 30 days and every day, try to do something little to fulfill that love language. To spark it back up. And because here's the thing. Life gets in the way. Kids get in the way. Work gets in the way. You're not. I'm constantly not thinking of Greg's love language. You know, like I try to do nice things here. But you're not thinking. If y'all just like, hey, the, the next 30 days, can can we do something small to give into that? I, I guarantee you she'd be like, that's really sweet. Let's try it. Yeah, because she'll know you're trying to work on whatever but also it seems like he was just playing a little game you know oh to see if yeah like he he didn't seem like he approached her he just seemed like oh i'm gonna just stop let's see how long it takes for her to approach me yeah so maybe just don't even play those little games just talk about it rather than doing that but i also see why he did that and i understand why he did that at the same time but here's the thing if it's taken her months to make the first move yeah that's that's you're gonna have resentment you're gonna let's so after that let's knock it off i understand why he did that but let's definitely knock that off i man i say just as simple as hey babe your love language is this mine's this can we just can we just please every day try to make an effort to do something small does not have to be big we don't have to remind the person of, hey, I'm doing your love language. Yeah, no, th- that's, <laughs> that is not that. We're not working doing that. It. We're yeah. not doing that. Like, actually do it to help out your relationship. Right. Don't do it to be like, 
Right. I did it. Right. <laughs> that hell no. That's that's more fake and would piss me mm-hmm. off more than Oh that that would Oh gosh. And also I feel like, you know, especially when we when you've been together for twenty years, like it's just never gonna be perfect. That's a grip. And relationships are always gonna be work. literally work. I it, it no matter who you're with, you think it's the grass is green on the other side, guess what? Yep. There's all there's gonna be something. You know what I mean? Like there's always gonna be something. Um, the way he speaks of her though I is know. really cute. That's what I'm saying. Y'all y'all got a strong foundation. Y'all got a <coughs> strong thing going. I would just try to keep it keep it light and be like, hey, let's do let's try this. Hey, when I'm bent over, please come by and sp- spank my ass. And give call me a me Tina. <laughs> give me a swipe. <laughs> give me a little credit card swipe on my ass. Yeah. He needs to say, hey, I was trying to gaslight you, and I'm sorry. Huh. What? <laughs> Brett, it's your dad. He was trying to manipulate the situation. He, he was? was trying to see if she would make the move, you know? I don't and think no. he was trying to manipulate the situation. I think he was just trying to see something. A little social experiment. Yeah. I think he was okay. just trying to be like, hey, I'm always the one. And and I've never, I've never stepped back to see if she even... Am I even giving her a chance at making the first move? I think she got used to not fucking some more, and like it just made the whole situation worse. Because she's like, oh, maybe he doesn't want to fuck as much as I don't even want to fuck. I don't even think she's thinking about it. I know, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. he fucked up. She got. I don't she think just, so. Mm-hmm. I think he can get back in it. Mm-hmm. There's I, so I many things, though, like that we don't know about their relationship. Right. Yeah, there's a so lot of it's, stuff. It's yeah. hard to say because there's a lot of emotions that <clears throat> play in relationships yeah. and you got to try to talk. I don't think he fucked up at all. I think he was trying to see something and he saw it. He saw what he needed. Now he needs to go back. Take well, action. he did say it got worse, I think. Didn't it say it got a little worse than Brett, no. let it go. He's You're <laughs> twisting oh. things yeah. into something. You are that's twi- not. No, yeah. I'm not. Brett, it's your dad, brother. Lay <laughs> off of your pen. <laughs> no, I'm just trying back, to find out what exactly back, get happened. Get a fucking pillow. You don't got to dissect it. It not, is what it is. Not it, that it got worse, Brett. He's saying that he thought when he backed off that she would start making a move, and he's saying she didn't. It right. was worse than I, you know. That's what I think he meant by that. Yeah. Not oh, that yeah. not that he's gone back to the way it was and it, it was worse after that. She probably doesn't even know it. She probably is not even thinking a thing. I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. They she, need to have scheduled date nights, make time for their self. Mm-hmm. Get a babysitter. Get a babysitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Work on those love languages. That's a that's a make or break in, I would say, 100% of relationships. Oh, yeah. If you don't know your partner's love language, you, you don't love people how you want to be loved. You know what I mean? Right. If, let's say hypothetically my love language is physical touch. It's not. Let's say what yours really is. What do you think? Brett. <laughs> Brett. Oh my Maggie. God. No, just Get for fun. Just I would fun. say my love language. So what? Because the love languages <coughs> are physical oh. touch, um, acts of service, yeah. words of affirmation, quality time. That's a new one. And then there's one more. Receiving gifts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mine has gone back and forth between two. But here in the last couple years, I would say it is most definitely acts of service. If you can take something off my plate, I will notice every little thing you do. I will. Oh, if I don't have to do something, if you take one thing off my to do list, Mm -hmm. that that is everything to me. More than (laughs) more than saying something nice, more than buying me a gift, more than giving me a hug. Same like action. Show, yes. Just showing and yes. being there for somebody without. Yes. And not needing praise. Yeah. And, and let's say my okay, my love language is acts of service. Let's say Greg's is physical touch. Let's say if he wants to love me the way he wants to be loved. Kissing me and hugging me all day ain't going to do shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You have mm-hmm. to love. You have to know your partner's love language and 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 respect it and put in effort for that. Mm-hmm. And it's hard when it, you don't meet in the middle because right. then you feel disrespected or just, you know, it's just, mm-hmm. it can throw off shit. So I didn't even know there was love languages until about five years ago. And me and Greg have been together 18 years. Yeah. So, so we went cool. 13 years. I had no idea what it was. I had no idea what his was, what mine, nothing. And it can make, it li- literally make or break a relationship. Surely. So know that. And there's books on it. 
I've re- I've read a couple books on it's 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 a great thing to know. Oh yeah. So especially if you want your relationships to. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well. So, honeys, thank you for calling in. Thank you for being a rock fucker. Um, you seem like a solid dude. I know. I know you got this. Um, and we hope you get your ass taps. Yeah, we hope you get your mm-hmm. ass taps and <clears throat> and um, yeah, physical touch. Absolutely. Buddy. Absolutely. Love you, honey. Love you, honeys. Wait, that's it. <gasps> hey, For I have real? a question. Oh gosh. Oh, fuck, <laughs> what, man. Brett? Have you ever been to Asheville, North Carolina? I think did we have a show in Asheville, Beth? No, but we drove through it. We drove through it. We you, know. you can that's the nearest city to us where you can be topless. I just looked that up. Oh, that's really? nice. Yeah. So we should just go there for Didn't they say something about like San Diego a few years ago where you could be topless Maybe downtown Sa- or something? San Diego might be a one. I don't know. Yeah. New Orleans is also all, all one the, of them. But yeah. it's yeah. But I got handcuffed for mooning in San Diego. Handcuffed. <laughs> I went to the freaking drunk tank for doing that. I guess you can't show holes. <clears throat> no butts, just tits. Yeah. Hey, in Texas, were you in Austin when the topless? I was in Fort Worth, but I know oh, Austin's one. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think I was in Fort Worth. Do you want me to read off the topless cities? Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Asheville, yep. Austin, Boulder, Columbus, Ohio, Eugene, Oregon, Honolulu, Hawaii, Keene, New Hampshire. Key West, Florida, Madison, Wisconsin, New Orleans, Nor- uh, New York City, Portland, Oregon, Santa Fe, New Mexico, South Miami Beach, Florida, and Washington, D.C. And those are not my tour dates. That is where you can be topless <laughs> in yeah. America. Whoa. We yeah. should head up all those places yeah. just to go topless take topless tour. Top, yeah, topless tour. But how scared, I would be so nervous that I'm the only one walking around public topless. Just have shows there and then just come out on stage topless. Fuck yeah. That'd be cool. A topless tour, dude. Topless tour. Or we could just go bring the viral podcast to the. um, That's funny. And just Mm. do the podcast topless. (laughs) Hit up those dates. Mm. That's funny. If we brought the podcast just to those cities because we could be topless, <laughs> like that's out of fucking control. You guys, listen. I think twenty twenty four is going to be the year for this pod. Mm-hmm. Let's let's keep it growing. Let's keep taking over the world. Got to. Um, let's you know. I know people are asking us to tour the pod. Um, that's a dream. Let's uh let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it let's keep it rocking. <sighs> Spread. We need our super <laughs> spreaders <laughs> yeah. to really to really help us. I will say this. My TikTok, my YouTubes, my social medias, my everything for the past 10 years, in my opinion, for me, has been pretty easy to grow. Podcasting is is not as easy to grow, in my opinion. Well, I think uh, numbers are fake, too. Well, that's a whole thing. Yeah. True. And I'm not really talking about numbers, yeah. but it's just been like a little harder to... I don't know to to take over the world. We've been, try- mm-hmm. I've been trying. I would trying to get hard. way more. We get way more listeners than yeah. Uh, YouTube, right? Um, I feel like a lot of uh, commercials copy you guys. Oh, am I talking too much? You're Maybe. fine. Okay. Maybe you feel like commercials copy us? Really? Yeah. A lot, Brett. You've already brought this up. I feel like a couple yeah. episodes ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I, I thought I did, but yeah, you did. Thank you. Interesting. We've talked about it quite <laughs> well, a bit. Well, the we're, honeys. We're going to take yeah, over the world course. in 2024. It's our year and it's your year. Okay? You fucking got this. This is this going to be a big year for all of us. This but is going to be a big year. All the rock fuckers. This is, this is our year, dude. I can feel it. I can too. I can feel it. <laughs> Coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Um, I can feel your cock inside my ass. <laughs> nice. Oh, not long. Um, you guys, please um go to eatmytrash.com, come see me on the road and and rock fucker of the week. Yeah, I I I, I didn't mention it cuz I didn't pick one. So. Well, we should malt picky. How do I pick? Just go to Instagram <laughs> and just okay. go to the last post and close your eyes. You know what? I'm going to go to Instagram. I'm going to go to the last person that commented. Yeah, and that's that. Um, and another thing, why do people, when the airplane uh, gets to the landing port or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. people just stand up in the back row and just shoot their way up to the front? It's like, isn't there people, an airplane etiquette? Yeah, and people were, they wouldn't even let me out because they kept walking. People from behind me, and I'm like, yeah. something. that's not, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, so if you've never been on a plane before, 
just take don't do your that. don't do that. You go row by row from the front mm-hmm. to the back. Yeah, I call it the frenzy. All right, I got a rock fucker of the week. You guys ready? Yeah. Last person to comment on our last Instagram um, is I'm just gonna read off your uh, Instagram name here. Order mind sequence. <laughs> You are Rock Thank Fucker you. of the Week. We will get you some um, viral podcast merch. Uh-huh. Um, we also have some new merch um, drops Dropping. coming very soon. Be ready. Be ready for that. Viralpodcast.co. And what else? We're taking off to L.A. to do some pod stuff. and Me and Paige. Uh, yep. Just some work stuff. And don't forget to click each week after week we appreciate you guys and don't forget to wish maggie a happy birthday Mm -hmm. yes call in gosh i'm sad this pod's ending well we'll be back next week you didn't have a new year's resolution no nobody probably just be more mindful be more mindful and count your blessings yeah Yeah. i guess Mm -hmm. those are good okay maggie what should people call in since it's your birthday you decide the number to this or what, what should they call in what with? What they call in with? Oh, um, family drama. Ooh. The way we love <laughs> drama. <laughs> family drama. That's a good What's one. going on in your families? That's a good oh, one. Oh, shit. We'll get some juicy ones from yeah. that. Yeah. Love you guys. And our phone number is 442-777-3331. Always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Whoa. Oh, God ah, damn it. Whoa. Play that. That's our slits. That's our slits thing Get song. But oh, there we go. Son of a bitch. We're going I have to pee live. so bad. Dude, my feet are so <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh, my God. Woo-hoo. I gotta run Good up. Good job, team. I gotta yeah. plug in the fucking heater and pee. Yeah.